Yo, <laughs> they even brought a couple of babes for us. All right, I can't wait to get my hands on this crew. Dumbass. That he has no idea one of these babes is the queen of Komichul herself. <sighs> Ignorance will do you in like that. Kirusan, I don't see Sawashiro anywhere. If anything, he's deep inside the warehouse. Here's the plan. We push forward until we see him in person. Anyone who gets in our way, gets taken out. Hey, what's with you people? You think you can waltz right in? Don't just fucking ignore me! You wanna get dumped in the bay? If you're gonna bring it, then bring it. Yapping with you is a waste of my time. That's it, you're dead! She needs to meet you. Think I'll enjoy this. It's my turn. On some. Oh, yeah? Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Get serious. Try to fuck this! You asked for it. Get this away! Okay. <laughs> Here we go. something. Aren't you people here to turn your lives around? Or well, let me guess. You think you'll get a clean slate in Hawaii? And all you've got to do is follow orders. If that's how you see it, you'll never return to society, no matter how hard you try. But if you're serious about making a change, start by thinking for yourself. I don't give lectures like him. Only thing my enemies get is a lesson in pain. That's how it works in Comey Jewel. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Guess even Sun He cuts loose when she's mad. I see the men out front gave you no trouble. Yeah. They won't be getting up anytime soon. I take it they could use the rest. Ah, don't worry about them. Bargain Barrel thugs aren't exactly at a premium these days. What with the dissolution leaving so many ripe for the picking? Isn't your job to fix that? Or is this second dissolution of yours just a way to exploit them? After everything you've done, this was your chance to light their path. Huh. I won't deny that. You know, one of them said something rather profound. Going clean was like prison all over again. You know, people like us have no freedom. Of course, he must have had eyes on him everywhere. You never know what an ex-Yakuza will do, right? And I'm not even at the saddest part. We have nearly a hundred people working here at all times, but they only need a single supervisor, if that. What makes that possible is the structure of our warehouse. Take a look at this observation tower. It's designed so you can't see in from outside. Because of that, you never know when you're being watched. Meaning, you can never slack off. They call it a panopticon. Any idea why these were invented? To keep prisoners in line. And twisted, isn't it? 
These people wanted to escape the dog-eat-dog -dog world of a criminal. Yet what do they do? Crawl right into another form of prison. Tell me, why gather them under one roof, and then ship them over to Hawaii? To rehabilitate them, of course. Is that the only thing Ebina said? If he hasn't let you in on anything else by now, don't get surprised when he casts you aside. You may want to mind your words. These four are some of the Seriu clan's strongest. And they don't take kindly to insults, especially when it comes to Ebinasan. They also won't hesitate to kill, whether they've been given clearance or not. Pretty bold for Yakuza in this day and age. Then again, I've seen plenty like that in my time. They have all come and gone. Now, you want to know what real strength is? Now let my fists do the talking! Cane, huh? Don't see that every day. Probably not all he's got up his sleeve. Let's stay on our toes. I'm on a roll. Let's go. I won't hold that. Time to burn you down. All you got for me? I sure hope not. Now then, let's wrap this up. Well, he's back to basics. Wonder what's next? I've got a bad feeling about this. Stay on your guard. Okay. Have fun with this. You're going to regret this. Follow my lead. You got me down. Maybe just stay down. This is getting old. Go to hell! Are you Watch done with this. all the fun and games yet? <laughs> I'm on a roll. Let's 
go. Yeah. Nope. In for the kill. <laughs> On your knees. Oh. Oh. I won't hold back. <laughs> Let's Who do wants it. to go? Ready for the knockout. This is the worst. What? Koizuro? You're going to regret this. You have a way feel like winning. Learning more every day. Moving up in the hell yeah. Whew. We should relish oh, this moment. <laughs> We did it. We really did it. We beat Sawashiro. Way to go, Kiryu-san. You need to get me out of here. I can't speak freely around them. Hey, hey, let go! What do you think you're doing? if they don't know where I am. Quick, throw me in the water. You sure that's a good idea? <laughs> Not much of a choice here. Meet up at Ichi's place after. Huh? Wait, Kiryu-san, seriously? Uh, uh, uh! What'd you do that for? We're done here. Next stop is Ebina. Oh, guy's just full of surprises, isn't he? Ah, tell me about it. But I'll admit, hearing Sawashiro scream as he plummeted into the sea, priceless. Sure didn't see that coming. Ah, uh, now it all adds up. So Sawashiro wanted to get tossed in the ocean. Yeah. We made plans to meet up at Kasuga's place. Does this mean we're trusting him after all? Depends on how our conversation goes. Now, I imagine he'll want to keep a low profile. Maybe we'll get to see him in disguise. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> so, Shiro, you should see yourself right now. I'd appreciate you sticking to the point. I'm not man of time, you know. All right. But first, we need to know where you stand. Who is Ebina to you? The visionary responsible for the Second Great Dissolution. And a man after Masumi Arakawa's own heart. We thought the same at first. But in light of his recent behavior, I'm sure you've noticed something's up by now. Yeah. The second dissolution's just a smokescreen. A shiny ad to pull in fresh recruits. 
But I found that out too late. After sending Ichi to Hawaii. Gee, isn't the timing convenient? It does sound that way. But if it was a lie, I'd expect something a bit more convincing. He has a point? Look at that. Your slimy reputation precedes you. And it's in your favor. Let's talk about Kasuga in Hawaii. He's there to lure out Akane-san, isn't he? And it was Ebina who proposed that. Likely to curry favor with Bryce. Sound right? Right on the money. Well, if that's the case, why are you still working with him? You had to have known. The hell Akane-san's going through, dodging death at every turn? Isn't she the woman your boss loved? Yeah, but don't forget. Ichi's over there. As long as he's in Hawaii, Akane-san's in good hands. Placing your bets on Kasuga-kun, are we? Sounds like you trust him. <sighs> Something like that. But with him on the job, I can focus on the real work I gotta do. Real work? <laughs> and that would be... Putting Ebina's fake plan into action. I'm gonna see the second great dissolution through. Huh? But if I have any hope of doing that, I need to know Ebina's true motive. Motive for what? The waste management business he's running with Polycana. It has something to do with nuclear reactors, specifically the waste these reactors pump out. What? Nuclear waste? As in from power plants? Yeah. On one end, there's spent fuel rods, which can still be repurposed and weaponized. Without strict protocols in place, they could easily fall into the wrong hands. On the other end, there's dirt, water, concrete, equipment, and what have you that end up getting contaminated. These are considered low-level radioactive waste, and while they're not as deadly, there's a lot of it. And with Japan dragging its heels in the decommissioning process, we're left with mountains of waste that'll remain toxic for centuries. The best they can do is silo it off in temporary storage facilities and hope a solution arises in the future. Oh yeah, I hear about that on the news every now and again. No matter where they try to build these facilities, the locals always fight against it. That's precisely what Polycana honed in on. For over 20 years, they've been stashing nuclear waste from around the globe on their private island. You know it as. Nelly Island, right? According to Polycana, that's paradise. A reward for only the chosen. Yeah. Real fitting, isn't it? Using sacred ground to hide away toxic waste. Bryce has a real sense of humor. Also, the fee they charge for processing the waste isn't cheap. And I'm sure Ebina gets a nice cut. But beyond that, I still don't know where all our ex-Yakuza factor in. My guess is they're needed for loading and transport. So that's it then. Ebina's yet another money-hungry maniac. Now, I know I shouldn't say this, but hear me out for a second. Polycana's willing to bear the brunt of Japan's nuclear waste problem? In spite of all the issues, isn't it a win for the country? From what I understand, each country's responsible for its own nuclear waste. How does Ebina plan on going around the law? Well, he won't have to if they loosen regulations. Politicians, bureaucrats, and investors are all waiting to jumpstart the nuclear industry in Japan. And to keep the money flowing. They'd build even more reactors if they could. And naturally, they'd also welcome any waste disposal method that seems convenient. So if one day you hear the TV saying how the government wants to ship its waste offshore, that means they've already started trying to sway public opinion. And eventually, a change in legislation will follow. Wow, that's... insane, right? There's a chance Ebina and Palikana could legally be in the clear. Hmm. If only it weren't the Yakuza and a cult, I might have just took it and shrugged. 
Sorry if this sounds biased, but there has to be an ulterior motive somewhere. There absolutely is. In other words, you're sticking with Ebina to figure out that motive. Yes. You say that, but did you really need to blow Kiryu-san's cover? You know, on the Tatara channel? I merely read the script I was given. Huh. <laughs> All right. It's true that for Ebina, the second dissolution might just be a means to an end. However, if Masumi Arakawa were alive, this is something he would have wanted. And if whatever Ebina's planning would subvert that, I'll bring him down from the very foundation. I see. When that time comes, I would hope to have the Dragon of Dojima's support. That's why I went through all this to speak with you. How could the Great Dissolution we forged with the Tojo Clan and the Omi Alliance crumble like this? People put their lives on the line to open up a path for the future. But all it took was four years to fail. Oh, curious son. Guess your plans weren't so airtight. As a country, Japan's not exactly kind to those who make mistakes. Far from it, actually. So yeah, these ex-Yakuza had nowhere to turn but Ebina. Getting back on their feet wasn't an option. No, something's not right. It shouldn't have been like this. This wasn't the plan they told me about. The plan we all believed in. Sorry, who are they? The leaders of the Great Dissolution. Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, along with Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima.